Guys, welcome back to Ideal Media. Today, we are doing one of my favorite mods that I have ever done to any of my cars, and I haven't even done it yet, but I know it's gonna be my favorite because today, YouTube girlfriend and I are going to not have just one home, but we're gonna have two. And if you're new here, my name is Brad Danger, and go hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification bell, and uh, let's go. So we're gonna be installing this guy up here. We had to get some new racks as you can, or mounts and all this junk here. And our goal is to get this tent on the 911 and then get out and actually use it in this video. We'll see how far we get. So the first step is I'm gonna install these landing pads and then try to figure out how to use the doodads to connect the bar and, and do all that stuff. And then we're gonna open up the tent and see what it even looks like and see if YouTube girlfriend likes it. So as you can see, we have the landing pads installed. Now the next thing is this deal, whatever this is called. An installation on these suckers is as easy as one, two. Ow! Squid, help, my, my finger! We shouldn't have installed these first. Always read the instructions first. My bad. So we just got the four set up. I didn't do anything. He did. Ev I did everything as usual. Be careful with that thing. So he just pulled out the little strip uh, so that we can now put the towers into the, I think it is a tower into the crossbar. Yeah, hey, there you go. You. Yeah. You're learning. All right. Ta-da. So as Squid puts on the finishing touches, you can see for someone that doesn't really know what the heck's going on, there's a sticker just in case you need to know which way it goes. Whew, that looks good. So one down and one more to go. Yo, so we got both of them installed. Squid did an amazing job. You're really good at this. And uh, the only thing we're missing are the end caps, which are pretty much like the cherry on top. So if- uh, To be honest? I don't know if I'm worthy. Go to your home. Wow, that finishes off the, it, it's even more aerodynamic. Look at that, it just is a perfect little like. Uh, Cutting through the air. There we go, now it's on. All right, let's put the other three on and then let's tackle this beast. Take Come your shoes on, off. YouTube girlfriend. Come on. I'm coming in. Now I know why people get three person tents. This is really cramped, but you know, the mortgage is right. Five out of five. <laughs> right. This is the best part of anything that you bought. <laughs> Dude, this feels like a coffin, more, more so like a coffin than a tent. I'm not built for this. So when I ordered this tent, I really didn't think that it was gonna take all that much to get it installed, and I've been proven wrong. Luckily, I got this guy here, and he's been helping out a little bit. Not How hard has it been watching me install this for you? Look at that ladder. So, so far, we've kind of done a couple of things, uh, and this is the brackets for the ladder, which is where I get to climb up to my highness. Does that even make sense? Does anything you say make sense? <laughs> <laughs> I've learned to speak Brad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a there is some uh, translations needed. Overall, I think this tent is pretty solid and it's gonna keep us dry at least. And uh, as so far that we've seen it, it actually seems like a really nice package, so. So that was almost a success. The only thing is, I don't think you saw it with the time lapse, but we did drop this, and when we dropped it, well, one, I don't know what app, what what hit, but something hit, and this, this windshield now has a nice little. Right here. Oh, that, yeah. beautiful, that thing. Okay, so yeah, now we have, we got a battle wound right here. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. We gotta put the caps on so that we don't cut ourselves, because these things are sharp. Woo! Pro tip. Pro tip. When you're loading your rooftop tent, just come in from the side. Don't try to go over it yeah. as a two-man team and then drop it on your windshield. Uh, I don't know. I think that was the right way to do it, no? No. The drawing said to do it from the side. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what you guys were doing, but I was like, okay. 
But doesn't that look good in gray? Look at that. Wow. I love it. That's not going to make any noise at all on the freeway. I wonder your gas mileage. Yeah. Perfect. It's going to be perfect. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks good or bad? Initial impressions. Rooftop tent 911, baby. Let us know down in the comments because, you know, got to be different, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. New day, new me, new you, new YouTube girlfriend over there. And we're we... wearing shorts. <laughs> you are wearing shorts. That yeah. looks good. We are now in beautiful Seattle, Washington at Cary Park, one of the most majestic outlooks or overlooks or just looks of the city, as you can see here. And we're actually going to go use our rooftop tents. Squid got his rooftop tent on his truck. It took, well, it like was until 1.45 or 2 in the morning. We finally got it on. And then and as you can see, the 911 has the rooftop tent on it as well. So we're gonna take these camping for the first time ever and bring you guys along and show you how awesome putting a rooftop tent on your car or truck really is. As you can see, we had some success actually building a fire, which is pretty pretty solid, don't, don't you think? The fire dance. So we are going to cook some brats and then probably hang out for a little bit. And then in the morning, I'm gonna tell you all about why this is the best mod ever, ever, ever to be done to a car. I don't or, know, this might be better. Well, I mean, it's, it's a truck, but like car or truck. Best mod ever done to a car or truck, period. Mark my words. Good morning, guys. So last night, I slept okay. Not great, not horrible, but okay. And I think part of that was, I'll show you in just a second, the ladder, it supports half of the tent and the ladder I didn't set up correctly, so it, was, it wasn't fully extended. And that made it so that the tent was sloping down. Halfway through the night, I woke up halfway down the mattress or whatever you can call that thing inside. It wasn't that comfortable, but man, First night down. Let's go see Squid and YouTube Girlfriend and see what they think of their first night sleeping on top of their rig. So yeah, as you can see, the tent is a little bit slanted. That way I think a level would level that out. Hey, another country heard from. How are you? Okay, initial impression, sleeping on top of the 911 for the first time ever. How was it? It was great. What a shirt, everybody go up there and snag, save the manuals, save the manuals. How was it? Like, I got with the sleep out of my eyes. On a it scale of so one good. to zero, one being yes, zero being no. We need new pillows. Okay. But you liked it, you'd do it again? Yeah. And ten. 10 out of 10. Top five. Top five. And, and, and how, how, how was? Slept like be, a baby. Be honest. How was be, the dream boat? Slept like a baby. I, that was probably the best sleeping I've ever done camping, that's for sure. Really? Yeah. Were we good neighbors? You guys are kind of rowdy. Man, those lights are still on. So as Squizzard breaks down his tent and this camping fiasco comes to an end. You okay there? Fiasco. <laughs> this rooftop tent, you guys, for the price of a used wheel set, you can get a $900 Smitty built tent, throw it on top of your car, truck, SUV, whatever, with some Yakima racks or Thule racks, and you can take your car pretty much anywhere and camp out of it. And that is worth its weight in gold because it's inexpensive, it's fun, and I don't know about you, but I personally think that these things just look super rad, dare I say, ideal. And as your mom probably told you, all good things have to come to an end, and this camping trip is wrapping up, so we're gonna pack up the tents and hit the ferry back to Seattle. Let's go. So we're packing everything up and this guy 
What did you just say? So this takes a lot of time to pack up. No, not as much as the soft top, but yes, it does take. You ever get in your car and you <laughs> left your wallet at home and you go like, ah, oh, I gotta go back inside and go get my wallet. Yeah. Well, I left my wallet at home in my tent that I just packed up for half an hour. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. So what I are you think. gonna do? Are you gonna drive I, and then if you get pulled over, you just gotta pop your tent? No, that's very illegal. No, I would never do that. I'm gonna pop this open and get my tent, my wallet out. Oh, buddy. Bye, everybody. Yeah, we're not trying to flex too hard, but look at this view. That's the most beautiful Sasquatch I've ever seen. What's up, cutie? You call me a Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, geez, look at you. Yes, and look at this view, you guys. Not for the people that do not like heights. Yes, and this rig has been doing extremely well on this trip. Obviously, this terrain, it is built for. Well, this guy, I think I might have the dirtiest Porsche 911 in existence. Look at those wheels. And the back is just caked. Yeah. While we're hanging out on this ferry and you can see the mountain way over there, that's Mount Rainier. I'm right here and I'm I'm just as good looking as a mountain. And this food is incredible, especially we were running, not running, we were driving as quickly as we could to make this ferry. We are literally one of the last like five or so cars that made it. So otherwise it would have been another two hour or so wait. So we luckily got on here and the view going into Seattle is stunning. All right, new day, new me, and on a one wheel. So this is a brand new day. The rest of the day after the ferry was filled with a ton of shenanigans. We got a bunch of new Ideal merch, which you can go check out over here. It's all hand-drawn, it's all incredible. Dare I say, ideal. And so today, I need to wash the 911. The birdie is definitely dirty. Check it out. All of the dirt from the camping and just, well, yeah, no. Oh boy. I sure. Oh. Yeah, so this thing got a ton of looks on the camping trip. I really enjoyed it. YouTube girlfriend enjoyed it, and Squid's tent actually worked really well for him as well. Do you guys like the 911 with the tent? Are you ready for it to be lifted a little bit? What are your thoughts on all this stuff? Because this is kind of a cool project. It's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. And in fact, 911s have a history of doing safari racing. And so this isn't actually complete blast with me, but it's kind of crazy. So let us know down in the comments what you thought and also what color wheels should we put on this and what color wrap should we put on this thing? Oh, 